Hello, I'm Alex Romo. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my guitar. Um, as you have seen in my profile picture, I have a 10 string guitar and I have received many questions regarding this guitar. Like, what is it? What's the tuning? Uh, is it comfortable to play? And many more questions. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, this very nice guitar. Well, I will just show you. This is it. This is my guitar. Um, obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is it's very huge, right? It has a very wide neck. Um, the design of this guitar uh, was developed by the Spanish guitarist Narciso Yepes. Um, however, today I'm going to talk specifically because there are many things to talk about but I will focus on tuning for this instrument uh, when I was researching about a 10 string guitar I had a hard time finding information or at least reliable information on tuning uh, there are many wonderful uh, musicians that have uh, YouTube channels talking about lute talking about the arch lute or the fiorbo uh, but not many focusing specifically about this 10 string guitar so basically guys there are two types of tuning okay we have the so-called jepes tuning and the baroque tuning there are two types okay so first let's talk about the jepes tuning okay it was thought um, that the guitar having six strings didn't have the resonance for all the 12 tones of the scale so if we look at the first string and we see here if we play each fret right until here uh, the guitar with six strings lacks the resonance okay so the guitar Narciso Yepes thought about this problem and came with a solution he said why don't we put some four extra strings on this instrument and the result was a guitar that was more even across registers right so we can play now all the 12 semitones of the scale and have pretty much the same resonance so it was very nice um, now that's as far as I can tell about the Jepes tuning. There are more things, but basically, the one of the main characteristics of this tuning is the re-entrance tuning. By that, I mean that the Jepes tuning has the lowest note in the seventh string. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh string is a C. Okay? And then the note goes up again. So instead of going lower, it goes back. So from this C, we go to B flat, which is the equivalent of playing um, this note here. And then it goes to A flat. And then finally goes to a G flat. Okay, so there are many advantages to this tuning. Uh, the main advantage is that now we have resonance that is very equal across registers. However, um, problems start to arrive when we try to play some baroque music or renaissance music or music from the theorbo and there comes the second type of tuning it's called the baroque tuning right now my guitar has a baroque tuning okay so this basically means i have my six strings okay and from e it goes down right from e to d from d to c then b then A. Okay? 
So this A is a, a, an octave below the fifth string, right? So this. Okay? So the advantages for this tuning are the easy of play when it comes to baroque music, of course. So if we look at uh, baroque instruments like the lute, we can uh, see that they used to have right uh, extra basses going down diatonically, so going half step, half step, half step, or whatever, right? According to the to the um, to the key, right? Um, so yeah, so for now I think that's about it. Um, so basically, we have talked about the types of tuning. Uh, we have basically the Jeppes tuning, in which the lowest is the C, and then it goes again up in pitch, so it's a re-entrance tuning, designed basically for resonance. So not so much for, you can play the bass, right? But that wasn't the, the idea that motivated this thing string guitar. So that's the Jeppes tuning. There are some people that use the Jeppes tuning, and it sounds great. Um, and then we have the Baroque tuning. So if you want to play Baroque stuff, it's great. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Please subscribe, share. If you like the video or you want more videos, please comment, right? You have more questions because I received great questions. Please, by any means, just write and I will try to make new videos and try to post them uh, more often. Okay, I'll see you around guys, bye.